So, if you want to know how my Monday is going, I just drove all the way to my kid's school to pick him up. The problem with that is it's only like 2.15. He don't get out of school till 4. Yeah. So that's how my Monday is going. I hope y'all are doing so much better. I'm going to go home now for another hour at least. Yeah. Anyways. camera look no you're not gonna say hi demanding attention like always yes she is oh here comes the other one here comes the other girl no don't look at the camera come on, come on. no Both of them here demanding attention now. Okay, okay. Anyways, so today has been like a really slow day. Um, I did some writing this morning. I got like 600 words this morning on my serial possession book, and then I got up and I cleaned my house and I worked out, and then I sat back down and did nothing on and off all day. I didn't get any more writing done anyways um I'm almost done with the serial position like seriously all I need is to finish up this chapter rewrite the next chapter and then one more chapter right one more chapter after that and I think that'll wrap up the story and that should absolutely that should wrap up the story right there so I'm almost done with it it's got a grand total of 10,815 words. A lot of these words are going to be deleted and rewritten when I revise it, as we all know how that goes. But it is almost done. If I can sit down and write tonight, because my husband's streaming tonight, and the kids shouldn't be that busy. The kids should be home. I've already cooked dinner. It's like 4 in the afternoon. I cooked dinner at like 2.30, because I'm not going to be getting home until like 5.30. And I didn't want to be cooking a late dinner. So I went ahead and cooked dinner. It's just sitting. I'll warm it up later when it's time to serve it. That'll be a thing. And then now it's just... I'm sorry if you can hear the dog. The dog decided to eat now. Of course she did. So... Yeah. So maybe I'll be able to get some more writing done tonight. Maybe finish up this chapter and do the revisions for the next two chapters like I want to do. Um... Otherwise, I didn't. I did get some writing done yesterday, but I didn't do any vlogging except for that one little itty bitty bit that um, you saw. And that was it. That's been my week so far: is doing a little bit of writing and then a whole lot of nothing. A little bit of writing, a whole. Lot. It's been like the past month: a little bit of writing, a whole lot of nothing. Um. Yeah. Really, I'm just motivated to get the story done because it's been in my head for so long it's just been sitting there and percolating and I just need to get out of my head so I can finish up and wrap it up I'm excited to get back to my um, Wendigo story that I'm going to completely rewrite after I finish doing the thing with this one so I'm excited for that one um, good news, good happy news that did come along yesterday morning I woke up and the publishing house that I sent my query to for the Haunted Hall story 
got back to me and asked for a full manuscript. So there's that. Yeah. Crossing my fingers that it actually becomes something. If not, then it is what it is. I still haven't heard anything from the other one though. So, but it's only December and they have like a three month waiting process. So, anyways, I'm gonna get back to fixing to go pick up my kids. They had after school activities, which is why I didn't pick them up earlier. So now it's about time to go pick them up and then I gotta pick the husband up and then we'll come home and eat dinner and after dinner is when I'll get the writing done. Absolutely. 100%. Anyways. Bye. November 30th. It's the end of NaNo, the final day, and I am happy to note that I actually finished my writing project. I wrote a grand total of 16,000, six, okay, I wrote a grand total of 16,441 words, this is what I about, projected about what the story would be, 10 to 15,000, and today alone, like this morning, like completely shocked me, like I woke up and I was supposed to go to the gym, with my husband but then my husband's like I'm not feeling good I'm not going and I was like okay fine I'll just sit down and write so I wound up that was about seven eight o'clock and I wrote from eight o'clock all the way till noon and popped out like 4,300 words all in one day and completely finished the story didn't end I really like where it ended I think the ending part for me Especially when I was um, talking about the main character, when I was getting to the end of the main character and his ordeal, I actually started crying writing it. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this to him. But I like where it ended. And like they said, if the writer's crying, then the reader's going to cry. And I think it's going to hit a lot of people if I publish it. I'll get to that in a minute. And then it's just it just hit, it just ended on a very... In, in not happy it was not a happy ending not for him they resolved the issue but it was not a happy ending anyways um when I said that I don't know if I'm gonna publish it or not this is one of those stories that's been in my head for like a few months now it's been kind of simmering and now that I have written it out I don't know if I'm going to actually publish it um I might let it sit for a little bit longer before I get back into the edits of it Cause there was like yesterday when I was in there writing it, writing it, and I was doing the research on how to seal a debug box. So I was like, "There's really nothing here." And for this like urban legend type thing that I was playing around with, and I was like, "I don't know if I want to publish it now, or if I just want to wait and hold on to it and maybe like do a different type of possession story with it and kind of twist it around a little bit from there." But as of right now, it's just going to sit. I have the first draft out. I have the main story out. I have all of that. So, we'll see how it goes from there. You know, you write the... You, I don't know if anyone's ever done that. They, I'm sure they have. Where they've got these stories in their heads and they write it out. They're like, I don't know if I really want to share this. Like, it seems kind of... Even to me, it seems kind of ridiculous. That was my thoughts yesterday. Then I was finishing it up and I was getting to the ending. And I was like, you know, this really isn't a bad ending. And I can kind of twist it and make it make sense. Make it seem logical. You know what I'm... Anyways. I'm rambling. I know I'm rambling. But y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So I'm going to let it sit. Let it simmer. I did finish it. That is the point. I finished the story. I finished it within a month. And I reminded myself that I can pop out 5,000 words when I put my mind to it. And actually sit and do the work. There's that. Um, otherwise this, I'm just going to wrap it up. This vlog is going to be really, really short because I know I didn't vlog a whole lot. I think Monday, I did that little bit of it. Tuesday, again, a little bit. I did write Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday. I did write, but I didn't vlog it. And then 
we did like a family game night where all four of us plus my husband's friend got to play uh, Dead by Daylight. My 12 year old is far too excited for Dead by Daylight now that he's been introduced to it. And I don't think I want to get him off the game anytime soon. That's fine. Whatever. Um, so yeah, that's what I did yesterday. And then today, this morning, like I said, I spent, let's say, 9, 10, 11, 12, like four hours just straight writing. So that was fun. Exciting. I'm worn out now. I'm exhausted. And I just really wasn't in the mood to turn on the camera this week, and I apologize for that. So this is going to be a very, very short vlog. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, I did finish NaNoWriMo. I did win in my own little way, my little NaNoWriMo rebel way. I did win. I did do it. I did the damn thing. And so, yeah. So this is going to wrap up this vlog for this month. I'm going to sit here and probably sit here and watch another drama. And do not do a whole lot tonight. And we'll go from there. So, until next time, I hope y'all, all of y'all out here, out there doing NaNoWriMo had a fantastic month. I hope you achieved your goals. If you didn't, that's fine. You got the project done. You got it started anyways. I'm not done. If you didn't, that's fine. You got the project started. You have an idea of where it's going. Maybe, hopefully, if you're a pantser, then you got something going anyways, right? That's what, that's what the point is. Um... It's really not about winning NaNoWriMo, it's more about tell getting yourself into the act of writing and getting it going. That is the point of it. Anyways, until next time. Bye!